Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello, welcome to the video for what is game user settings, the get default window mode, window position, and resolution nodes. Now I know that was a really long title card, but I'm covering all three of these videos because these are three useless nodes. Honestly, I think they just got exposed on accident. They serve no real purpose to Blueprint users. They have functions inside the actual code itself, and I'll cover that here. But for Blueprint users, it's kind of pointless. And let me go ahead and show you that. So I've simply got these hooked up where they're going to print out on the top left what the value is. So if I get the game user settings and I get the default resolution, and I tell it to return the X and I hit play, well, we're going to see a zero. We can actually do that with the Y and it's going to return back a zero as well. Well, the reason for that, if we look at the code is get default resolution returns an end point of zero. It literally returns zero, zero, and there's no other value it's going to return. It's hard coded to return zero and zero. There is a reason for this, and I'll cover that once we finish the other two nodes, but keep in mind, if you use this node, you're just going to get back zero and zero. Now, it's the same thing if I was to hook up the default window mode and hit play. It's going to return window. That's it. No matter what changes you make, you're going to get back window because, let me go back to the code, it returns window. That is the purpose of get default window mode, to return window every time. I'll hook up the last one, and hopefully you can guess this one will be kind of silly. We'll hit play, and we'll get negative one. And if I was to actually hook up the Y, we'll get back negative one as well. Because, again, our values are hard coded to always return an end pointer, end point of negative one, negative one. So these three nodes here are default resolution, window position, and window mode which are these three nodes here, window position, window mode, and default resolution, are always going to return these fixed values, which are honestly useless. Now, these nodes are, not nodes, this code is used in other parts of the actual game user settings. It's used to find defaults and then alter them accordingly when you're setting the defaults. So why they are exposed, I don't really know, but for Blueprint users, you're probably never going to use these nodes. They're kind of pointless. Now there is something important to know. If you choose to get the default resolution, which returns a zero and zero, you can technically um, get it to return something else if you validate afterwards, but it's kind of pointless. You're, the goal of default resolution is to give it a fresh um, set of zero, zero. And then when the code runs itself for validating, let's pull this up right here. It notes that your resolution is set to zero, zero, and it goes ahead and it fixes it. So that's kind of what it is. It's built in so that way the code itself can run and fix itself if you run into an issue. In terms of blueprints, you're never going to use it. So like I'm saying, this is kind of pointless. I wouldn't worry too much about these nodes. They're just there. They honestly waste space. There is a fourth Git node, the default resolution scale. This one is not pre-computed. It is not useless, and it is covered in a separate video. So feel free to watch that. So that's going to wrap up our Git default resolution, Git default windowed mode, and Git default windowed position nodes. Remember, they are hard coded to return fixed values. They're primarily meant to be used internally, and as a Blueprint user, you're probably not going to find much use for them.